nerd fans out there, it's Mr. Chewy here. And don't we got a special today. We're gonna talk about the last issue of Batman and Catwoman, Tom King special. And this issue number 12 was awesome. It answered my wish. I hope this is canon. I hope they move forward with this idea. Everything Tom King made them uh, made up for his mistake from his Batman running made and finally Big spoiler alert, big spoiler alert, probably the top of the cover Beautiful cover by the way, beautiful, love the cover um, Clayman did awesome work Love this whole, this issue made up the way it took forever for this issue to come out But the big spoiler, Catwoman and Batman are married Husband and wife they are one, they are, they love together forever and ever. And that is just beautiful. No more that this Batman sleeping around this person, Catwoman sleeping around this person, they're together. And that is awesome. That is awesome. I finally won, wanted that. That wedding um, scene was perfect. Guess who was the best man? Well, I guess, uh, yeah, Bessie the best man in the uh, Brian's group uh, for Catwoman was it was perfect too, it was perfect. It was one of my favorite issues of, of Tom King's run of Batman. One of them is when the double date of Lois Lane and Superman and Batman and Catwoman. That was a nice scene, it was great, I love that issue. It was just fun, no superhero fightings, no dramatic fights or anything deep and dark. It was just a nice, realistic two superheroes going on a double date, becoming friends, Learning how to be us, basically being an everyday citizen, love, living life, enjoying life. Everyday life is not about um, saving the world or fighting the super bad guys. No, they find love, find happiness, enjoy life. These heroes get to enjoy life finally. Even Catwoman and Batman saying, like, when Batman saw the bat signal and right away Catwoman knew who was more important, the people got them this, and not you are more important. Like, right away he said that you're more important. I love you. I want to be there for you. These villains ain't more important than you. I want to, on the rooftops. They're talking about the relentless. Yeah, here, here. Bat, cat. Also, he's the Joker. So, shit. Epim. Oh, not that part. Right here. Oh, uh, yeah, right here. I have to know you and the Joker would change. Your your special signal is bright. Aren't there more important things in this world than me? No. Oh, he, the Joker asked me if I, I was Batman or if I was a cat woman. I was Catwoman. Like, everything in the world has to be this or that, one or the other. And he chose Catwoman. Like, it can't just put the two together and make that work. They love each other. They love each other. It was special. I didn't care too much about the future in this part. It was like a little, it kind of mattered a little bit. Could talk about Phantasm, that whole, this whole arc. Um, talk about Phantasm that she actually lived, Clayface cover up when they were both old. It was a nice little scene of Catwoman and Fat Tantrum. Enjoyed the moment, Joker being dead, and he relaxed on the beach together. But it was nothing too big. The big part to me was definitely, the best part of this whole story was a marriage of Catwoman and Batman. That was the best part, because is that canon? I hope it is. I hope when Chips of Dark Sis comes back for his Batman run, that Batman and Catwoman are married. I hope in the future issues of Batman they are married, they have having the Together, Catwoman was talking about she doesn't want to um, be get pregnant. She doesn't want to be kids. She don't want no. Well, obviously, you see, they will have a kid. They, this is, I guess, if this turns out to be uh, canon, Hana, Hala, I think their, their daughter Hana, um, will be the the Batwoman. This will be true. The old future will be kind of like the true. But they always will change, but they will have a daughter, and that would be cool. Just, just a lot more stories with this now. Batman and Catwoman married. There's a lot more good stories that could happen with the involved with the Joker, other villains, other characters. Just a lot more things. If Catwoman does get pregnant, what happens around that? How Bruce would change? Um, maybe you put the suit down. You see that maybe Dick will become a commissioner, uh, like Commissioner Gordon, be the next commissioner. We'll see what the future lies. And just the I don't know. Tom, they're gonna copy a lot of Tom King's ideas from this story run like their daughter the dog becomes the next batman the next robin or the 
the relationship of, of Batman and Catwoman, how it goes up and down, up and down, or how they change so much in this story. It was pretty good. It was a good run. It sucked. There was a long gap period. I didn't like that. I wish it was a weekly or at least one month. Like it was, it felt forever we got the 12 issue. But it was nice. It was nice. Batman and Catwoman love the marriage. I love that Clark Kent and Lois Lane was there to witness it. The church. Just everything felt perfect and beautiful. I loved it all. And I can't wait for the future for these characters. I've been hearing rumors that they might do more uh, with this story. Batman and Catwoman. I always believe that Catwoman needs Batman in life to make her more interesting. Like I, her solo run, I tried so much getting into her solo run. just not been that interesting. But to them together makes it so much better. And I hope, I remember a long time ago, Tonkin Tease 2 was, I think, last year, 2012, post-COVID. Right after his end of the, uh, of the Batman, his Batman one day, we saw uh, Selena pregnant. And I hope we do see that in the stories uh, later on after this event. Probably when it happened to the end of this year, after uh, Dark Crisis is over, because Batman's technically dead right now. But after that event's over, there will probably be a story, or maybe just to be a, this will be his own universe. That's, I kind of want that. I want to be canon. I want to be part of this whole universe. I want to be part of the whole DC universe. Like how Lois Lane and Superman are together. Basically, they're, that's, they're married. They have a kid now, John Kent. Um, I want Selena and Bruce have a kid. L I know Damien, Bruce already has Damien, but I want them having a kid and experience them uh, what Bruce would do as a, having a baby. Kind of like how Mr. Fantastic, we saw the Fantastic Four, Invisible Woman, and Fantastic, uh, Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic develop uh, how their relationship developed. Having a family, we've seen uh, Franklin growing up. We've seen how they turn into teenagers, develop their powers. Same thing for Bruce and Selena. They could have that. They could do that. They could have a kid and growing up, seeing, seeing her or him growing up. Maybe it could be a boy still. It could be a girl. Whatever it could be. But we're seeing that character and our character we like, Batman, uh, Bruce and Selena changing their personality well. Maybe we'll see Selena becoming a mother figure. We're seeing Bruce becoming more a father figure. That's what Bruce is struggling with Damien so much because he never had that father role. I guess you could say Alfred did. Uh, Alfred is his father role, but he never do just like father lessons from his father he, he died or he just got thrown away he missed the holding a baby in his arms or uh seeing them walk see damien walk or talk his first word seeing those beautiful moments as a comic like a father should see a father should love it might sound cheesy but those are good moments like they make making real like make i want these characters to feel more real to us to experience what we experience in our world and I want them to experience what they experienced. Like one of the saddest moments I saw in Tom King's run when Celine broke her heart and left Bruce on the altar. And he basically had a heart moment with Nightwing and Nightwing had to come for him because he was so heartbroken with Celine and left him on the altar. And this made it up, like he wasn't left. And this is what makes it more canon as well if you think about it. Because I remember when she woke up for Christmas, I was like, I guess they have like a little flashback and they woke up in bed together and she says Christmas morning and Phantasm's dead like told he, she he, she told Bruce Phantasm's dead and now Alfred's dead too so Alfred's gone so the city of Bane arc already happened all that stuff already happened like they came back uh, right after that Bill War like they came back together and had that moment and talked about should we still get married and he, they love each other and which is a beautiful comic all around I loved it this comic issue was 10 out of 10. I was up and down with this story. Like, is it going anywhere? It was like all over the place. Time, travel, future. The future of Batwoman, Catwoman, the present. We knew they were going to get married because, like I said, the future told us to get married, to have a kid, how Batman died, how Selena Kyle dies. Like I said, it was all over, but it was just a beaut. I wanted to, there was a show us. And they show us the marriage. They show us all that stuff. And you show the, the wedding wing, how important it was. It was the first diamond she stole that batman caught her that was the first diamond and the glasses that you show the glasses um some was the glasses point i forgot what the glasses was uh, it was bruce's glasses i don't know why it was bruce's glasses they gave to hannah his daughter in the future 
that Selena gave to her for a Christmas gift. I was kind of off about that, but like I said, I didn't really focus on the future stuff, and this issue was all about uh, Catwoman and Batman getting married. That made me happy. I really did like that. I hope it's canon now. I hope to see him in future Batman comics. Like how we saw Luke, like in Superman comics, we've seen Lois Lane and Superman together, Clark Kent together from here on out. Every issue, every new issue for Batman, it's Selena and Bruce together. No divorce, no that drama, keep the relationship going, boom. They be the new relationship couple. That's it. Be like Luke Cage and Jessica Jones. Be uh, Mr. Fantastic and the Visible Woman. Um, be like... Um, Lois Lane and Clark Kent be those that they're tied together now. No more relationship breakup. They're there to beginning to the end too. They're both gone. Like comics don't exist anymore. That's the relationships now. So I was glad to wit happy to witness that. Awesome. I hope more characters like that. I hope they get these ideas. I hope we see Spider Man, Lois Lane finding time to not and not break apart. I hope we see um Black Canary and Green Arrow. Uh, Dick Grayson's and Barbara Gordon, they mean all the relationships out there that fans want to have and keep it like that. Don't change it over time, just keep it. No more playing around with these characters, treating them like kind of like horrors with men and females. That's what the, the comic book world's been treating these characters to keep them in relationships, keep them there. Love interest, boom. Like Hawkling and Wicked, keep them there. Their relationship, keep them, don't change them, boom. That's it. Get them married, get them, keep them together, done forever. That'd be awesome. Like Poison Ivy and Hardy Quinn, boom, done. Keep them together forever. Done. Uh, that's it for my issue. Little love. That's it for my little talking, but it was a wonderful issue. Go check it out. The Batman Catwoman run was awesome. A lot of breaking ties. We actually saw a lot in this future run. We saw the death of Joker. We see the death of Catwoman. Um, we seen like there was the death of Batman in these, the storyline was in different issues in Tom King run, Batman, Batman, Tom King run. Um, but we saw a lot what their daughter probably looked like. We probably know their daughter's name going to be, uh, if they do have one, that'd be crazy. Like next year, a big time jump or something like that. And, um, they have a kid, Hannah. We see that character. I want to see that character grow up to be a Robin and a Batman. That'd be awesome. Uh, bad woman, you could say. I want to see Damien's reaction, how close would be her and his uh, sister would be. That'd be cool. Just a lot of things to be cool about. I mean, to see, to be different now, to see the reaction of these characters around Dick, Grayson's reaction, uh, Jason Todd, uh, Batgirl, Batwoman, uh, all the Bat family's reaction to the first, that like, kind of like uh, child of Bruce and Selena, um, Bruce kid. Like, it was, Damien was kind of weird making like it was dna make sure they had a kid but he didn't know about it couldn't like experience the greatness of having a kid but hana if he has a kid with selena kyle will be a more beautiful nate natural run it'll be great to see that and how everyone's reaction would be it'd be crazy if batman had a boy named it after alfred it'll be alfred named alfred would be like the next robin also it'll be, it'll be more deeper and sad or more not sad, but more beautiful in a way. It'd be kind of nice. It'd be weird, but I don't think you would name it Alfred. But you would do son like kind of like AJ, and he's short for Alfred or something. Or Pennyworth. Um, probably have a nickname called Penny. Who knows? Maybe have a girl we call Penny instead. Go Pennyworth. That's uh, Alfred's last name. Who knows? Or AF. Who knows? But it'll be nice. Uh, I can't wait for the future. I hope they do more of this. I hope it doesn't end like this. I hope it's not just a story, one shot. I hope he continues, like I said. Comment below what you think of Batman and Catwoman. What you like about it. Uh, and do you enjoy it? What do you think? What are you, or you think sucks? Or you don't care for the marriage of Catwoman and Batman? Uh, of Batman? Do you care for it? I, I do, but... What you think of the marriage of Catwoman and um, Batman? Is it good? Bad? Comment below what you think of this issue. And thank you all for watching my video. I appreciate everyone you watching, subscribing, supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. I love talking to you all. Please comment below. Give me some new comic book ideas. I've been trying to find some new, new good stories out there. And it's been hard. I've been cutting out some comics out of my life because not to make great stories in my eyes. It was sad to see this Tom King run, but there's no one 
is the Batman Killing Time. Yeah, that's almost done too. But that's been pretty good issue too. I recommend go checking that out. I have some videos um, talking about it. So you can check those out as well. But I thank you all again for watching. Please hit the like button to, if you like my videos. And please subscribe to my channel to get all my comic book talk, anime talk, movie talks, toy talks. I'll talk about all the good nerd stuff out there. And please share with your friends. Let your friends know if they're nerds. Come watch my videos. Chit chat, talk. I love talk to you all. Watch all the good nerd stuff I talk about. Thank you all for watching again. You all have a good day and good night. And stay nerdy forever. Bye.